I'm not sure I ever knew this video would come. I've wanted it to be here for about two years now, I think. Nonstop has talked about this. Yeah, I think, I mean, I've told Abby, DJI will have, let me say that again, because everybody should hear it. D-J-I, not D-G-I. <laughs> uh, should have a race drone. They should have a race drone, you know? Uh, if they did, I think there would be a market for it. And I think they're a little late to the game. Race drones were really popular. <laughs> two years ago. Two or three years ago. <laughs> and um, some people have made them not so popular anymore. I won't name names, but uh, no one likes them. So DJI now has the DJI FPV. What an original name too, by the way. Uh, not bashing on DJI. If they can coin that phrase, that's really cool because FPV is first person view. They've made a race drone. This is a little ready to fly race drone and I've said they need to have something like this come to the market for a really long time now because it would appeal to a person like me. I fly race drones. I don't put it on the channel that often but I fly a race drone for fun. Okay I can do acro, air mode, that kind of stuff and you can have, you, you've flown race drones too. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah so we're a little rusty especially at showing you guys. And in today's video, it's just gonna be an unboxing of first impressions of the quality of materials and that kind of thing, our, our true first impressions. This is still sealed. But my main point for why DJI needs to have a race drone is like a modular design. I do not like building my own race drone. I do not like programming in beta flight, that type of thing, my race drone. To me, that's the boring part. And so DJI has done that for us. We now have ready to fly. So when they started leaking the footage, the promo footage a couple weeks ago, I told Nate, as soon as I saw it, I was like, this is it, it's this coming. is your race drone. Cause nothing else can get that fast of shots and follow subjects moving that fast and that smooth. I was like, here you go, Nathan, this is it. Finally. Finally, March 2nd, boom, bought it on Amazon and now it's here. Two days later, so, or something like that, two or three days later. Yep. I'm so excited. Now uh, we're gonna get into this, we're gonna have a good time. Remember, Abby and I have flown over a thousand drones on our channel. We actually hit that number. From GPS drones to little baby toy drones and, and nice expensive stuff like this, uh, everything in between. So I think we're pretty good. Uh, if you've never watched our videos before, you know, I mean, who else do you know that's flown a thousand drones? It's gonna tell you when something is bad or not. And we're okay with saying, hey, DJI, you've done a thing or two that we don't love. Uh, <coughs> The mini, yeah. Excuse me. And, <laughs> I don't know where that came And the fanboys don't like that. And so I'm going to go out on just a really bold ledge here and say this. And some people won't like it, but this should not be your first race drone. Or first drone. Yeah. It should not be your first drone. If you bought this as your first drone, do society, humans, a favor. Set it aside. And buy something. Buy something cheaper. Just like this. They make drones Please. that are like... 10, $15, believe it or not, about this size. And you can learn to fly on something like this. The basics, uh, and not hurt anybody, not kill anybody. This drone can hit like 89, 90 miles an hour very easily out of the box. And it's heavy. That little thing right there weighs less than, you know, a french fry. So, so how much research have you done on this since it came out? Because yeah. I don't know anything about it. Very minimal. I, I knew I just, that, I just bought it. <laughs> I, I knew it would have to be something that we got our hands on because this, for me, could be potentially DJI's best thing ever made. For me. For me. So in this video, we're just unboxing it, giving you all our first reaction, our initial impressions of it. Yeah. Um, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see our first flight with this. I want to say also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because of you guys, we bought this. Uh, DJI didn't send it to us and that's okay. I'm, I'm very happy, I'd say 75 to 80% of the time, I'm very happy to get my hands on a DJI product. One reason they don't send stuff to us is because we're brutally honest and we talk about the things that we both like. And that's not just them. There's many, other companies many too. Many companies that's right. send us. And, and that's, don't want their products on our channel. Just because we'll, talk about all that's good and and the stuff that's Should bad too one? yeah there's one more piece of tape <laughs> so bear that in mind as you watch this video this is a patreon supported video if a video was released on the release day of the drone and i'm only telling you this just so you're very careful about who you listen to if they're overly excited about it they might be trying to sell it to you 
And just know that if they got it on that release date, DJI sent it to them, and that's that's fine. We have our Patreon supporters. We so get stuff on day one too. Yes, just not from DJI. That's okay. I'm really happy. All right, about let's enjoy this, this unboxing yes. process because it, it's always pretty nice. Yes. So it's satisfaction. Slightly right larger than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Just gonna pull the drone out because that's what we're all after. It's like wow. some foam on the right. <laughs> yeah, so that's foam. There. That's foam over the. Why is it just on the back too? It didn't need to be on the front. I think the back was raised up a little okay. higher. Uh, we've got a, a little camera protector that I'm seeing on there. I like that that's a modular design. You crash and you break an arm. Theoretically, you should be able to unscrew that arm and put a new one on. They're not the first company to do this. As a matter of fact. Um, the the rise vision vision fusion something like that was the very first race drone to really come out and say hey we have a modular race drone and just break this so this is on a gimbal this is That's this right. is the first race drone we have ever had that its main camera is a gimbal That's impressive. That's right yeah and there's a, a, a digital um, auto stabilization as well uh, so when you're flying, it's silky smooth, you know, I, I'm really looking forward to my first flight impressions of this because that's going to really be impactful. My finger's not on the lens. I saw you yeah. looking at me. It's not on the lens. <laughs> well, Abby does that while we get these goggles out of here too because these glasses look like something from space. Hey, Popeye, say hi to everybody. That is cool. 4K, 60p. I notice a lot of forward-facing cameras on there too, so it's not just your main camera, but it looks like collision detection oh, yeah. type wow. cameras. The I don't know how two. good that's going to work. Stuff on the bottom. Huge thing you guys should know is if this is your first drone ever or you fly anything no, DJI. I have a scratch right there. I know. Especially this drone. You guys need to have insurance when you fly. I, I would I would just very strongly advise you. I don't care if you stop watching our video right now. We'll have them linked in the description box below. There's insurance you can buy to fly these things. It's less than $100 for the entire year. It's like a liability insurance. As long as you're following, there's very simple guidelines. You're insured. You crash into somebody's car. As long as you're following their guidelines, you're covered. So fly with AMA, the Academy of Model Aeronautics. You really need them. This like this drone for more reason than anything we've ever featured on our channel over the past eight years. If you're flying this, get AMA. It's like not even a suggestion. Do it. <laughs> I love the smell of a new RC. All this. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'm, I, this is a good video. We're doing the unboxing. <laughs> this like, is a good video. You like, will like this video. It's a, I think it's a video that needs to happen because more than our first impressions of this, I'm telling you guys some really important stuff. Don't make this be your first drone and do get insurance. If that's the only thing you take from this, that's a really good thing to take from this. More things to peel off. You go for it. And there's stuff on this one too. So oh, the goggles, look at this. Doesn't this look like something from space? Um, I cannot wait to see the bug antennas on it. And here's, my you know, will your glasses work with it? Of course, is the big question. Mine do fit, but it's tighter than I expected. And I have small glasses, so. I've had race drone goggles before that fit comfortably over my glasses. DJI's goggles, uh, previous, you know, the just the standard goggles they've had out for their Mavic and stuff, fit over my glasses. This is a very close, snug fit. So people that wear glasses and don't wear contacts would be very disappointed, I think, to know that that's a tighter fit than I was expecting. Let's yeah. see the radio. So it's really funny because when we bought this, Abby was reading the package contents, and one thing that they list as the package contents are the gimbals, <laughs> the thumbsticks. <laughs> like, like that's really? Part of the radio. Come on, you know. <laughs> They're just trying to make it look like it comes with a ton of. <laughs> I, I I am I don't want people to get the wrong idea. This you know the last DJI video we oh, did look, was the Mavic. Extra props. It did come with extra props. It did come with extra one props. good. Good on you guys. The, what I'm trying to say is I'm very excited about this. Again, guys, this is something that I've been rooting for DJI to do for about two years yep. now. I think they could have... He, we were mad that the Mavic Mini was Mac, Mavic Mini. That's because right. the Mavic Mini, Mavic Mini should have been this. In our opinions. <laughs> it would have been better timing. Charger. The radio feels great, guys. I think it this feels, is the, did you know the goggle. 
folds and unfolds. Yeah, I don't uh, really understand the point of it, know, but weird. yeah, it unfolds and hey, unfolds. you gain a half inch of Ooh. storage right there. It's storage. I noticed that this doesn't come with a storage case. I was kind of hoping it would, but That's I'm sure they're going to come out with like other combos that have a case with it. So in my opinion, the price point of this is really high, but it comes with a lot and it's a lot of really good technology. From what I've seen, the shots look flipping beautiful. Yeah, and I, we got this more as a tool. Like, Abby and I aren't viewing this as uh, the drone itself to fly for fun. We're viewing this more as a tool to use alongside our other videos that we make mm -hmm. on YouTube. So. I don't know how many people will do that. I think a lot of people will buy this for fun. Some people buy the Spark or the Mavic Air, the Mavic Mini, the Mavic, all that stuff. They buy that drone for fun, even though it's a very slow moving GPS drone. Last box. And uh, we would buy something like that to be used as a tool. This for us is more a tool than it will be for fun, but it'll be both. It'll definitely be both. I'm a, I feel like I'm a decent race drone pilot. I'm not good enough that a person would ever want to pay me to fly, <laughs> but I think I'm good enough to like fly, you know? I've, I'm good enough to chase airplanes and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Or control airplanes to those that are new to the channel. And if you are new to the channel, just like the, the ooh, general vibe ooh, that you're getting from us right ooh. now is pretty I'm consistent. Excited. Is, is that a skin basically? It is, I think. Yeah, I think. Looks right. like it. Oh, I like that. I like that. That's fun. Although green isn't easy to see if you crash in grass. Still like that. That's fun. That is there's fun. A, there's a lot in this little box here. Yeah, look at that. That'll look good. You need to put props on, sir. Yeah, let's go for it. That was easy good. to snap on. Oh, you didn't snap I it on. Just, just sitting there. On. Well, it looks good. <laughs> we didn't even have to do a video on this. We could have just started using it as um, as the tool that we want to use it for. But I really thought it was important to let people know, like, you need AMA insurance and you really shouldn't make this your first drone. As much as you don't want to hear that. Um, that's really the whole point of this video. There we go. And then of course the battery's massive. I don't know if you saw this. They say up to 20 minute flight time. You're not ever going to, even if you hover, you're not going to get 20 minutes of flight. I assume that comes out. Look at that. Isn't that a weird way to do never the battery? Never say never, sir. Well, if you fly inside with no wind or something, but there you go. Check it. That's a huge battery for it. I would drown, yeah. Mm. Boom. DJI FPV. Get AMA. Don't let this be your first drone. It's easy. It's simple. And after that, you can just have fun. Uh, these things are tricky to fly, you know? This is fast. It's heavy. If that hit you, that's going to hurt. That is one of the heaviest little race drones. It does concern me. The, a lot of newcomers buy DJI stuff because it's nice. It's nice quality and yeah. it's the best of the best. That's right. I'm saying that. We have nothing against but DJI. This is scary to me as a consumer drone to hit those speeds. That's all. The, uh, the, what DJI has done for the industry is awesome because other companies are trying to to repeat that, to copy it, but on a cheaper level to compete with it, you know? And they have introduced so many people into the hobby that it has made it so easy that literally like a four-year-old, is that the youngest person we've ever seen fly? It's four or five, yeah. Can fly these things. Mm -hmm. It's that easy. And this is just as easy to fly if you just want to hover it around and go slow and stuff, mm -hmm. basically. And so anybody can get their hands on these things and, and do things that scares people, right? You don't want to peek into windows and stuff, but now you've got a drone that's capable of hitting insane speeds where some goober that has never flown before just bought this thing. Do we really want those people flying these things? No, we don't. I can answer that for everybody. No, we don't. It's not going to be good for, we might see some headlines where people are doing some damage on these with, with these. So please buy the $15 drone first and practice or, or download a free flight simulator or, 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 and please get AMA. I mean, seriously. Oh, it's, but if it's in the right hands, this is capable from what I've seen of doing some amazing things. And I'm very excited to uh, fire it up, 
share a maiden flight with you guys as a first impressions. We're definitely gonna do that. We'll probably do some follow-up content on this just because it is really cool. Good job, DJI. I really do think that this has been a long time coming. And we're gonna use it continuously, continually as a tool on our channel. Mm -hmm. So that's what this is for, guys. This is called a boring unboxing if you want to, but get an AMA. Don't make it your first stream. Look at that. Look how that thing sits there. Isn't that cool? Can they even see it? <laughs> how how the, uh, the legs. It's very cool. It looks really cool. I'm so excited for the camera and uh, I'm, I'm ready to fly it. So charge batteries tonight. I just think it's neat how the front legs sit there and the, there's no back legs on there yeah, at all. It's neat. This for me personally is extremely exciting. I know you're excited. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some airplane chasing with this and some really just some really fun stuff. I'm excited to have this in our lineup. One final thank you to our Patreon supporters because we bought this with our Patreon money. I totally bought this with Patreon money, but I think people really wanted to see it. Our patrons at least I know wanted to see this. So thank you for that very much. And uh, man, I'm, can we just go fly? It's nighttime. I know, can't do a maiden <laughs> at night. So uh, also a massive thanks to the big guy upstairs just for everything just everything you know good and bad gets us here the hearts pumping had another good day under our belts as a whole and and for that we just are very grateful so we thank the big guy upstairs this is linked in the description box below if you use that link it helps support our channel and it helps feed our family if you plan on buying one of these or anything on amazon you can use our link and it does help support us i say this only so that if you plan on buying it, it doesn't cost you anything extra, you might as well support us. But you don't have to. If you didn't like the vibe of this video, don't worry about it. Appreciate you watching. It's all linked down there though. So check it out for yourself. Is it too expensive? Did they price it right? The people that I've talked to, my friends, say it's cheap for what it is. Guys, we thank the big guy upstairs. We thank all of our Patreon supporters. All this is linked in the description box below if you wanna support us and our family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in whatever crazy video is popping up right about now. I'm, I'm sure it's a lot more fun than this one. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.